in this lecture we will study classification of silicate clay minerals so first you understand what is silicates silicates are the minerals containing silicon and oxygen in tetrahedral units which are linked together in several patterns actually silicate clay is a type of soil colloids so silicate clay may be crystalline or non crystalline in nature so silicate clay is generally classified as seven types uh, first is ortho silicates or neo silicates pyro silicates or soro silicates cyclic silicates chain silicates double chain silicates or sheet or phyllo silicates and three dimensional or tecto silicates okay so in these phyllo silicate is most important silicate clay because all the clay minerals like uh, like kaolinite montmorillonite biotite muscovite illite etc all belongs to the phyllo silicate group so phyllo silicate is most important type of silicate clay mineral okay so uh, now we understand each uh, one by one so first is ortho silicate or neo silicate which is generally composed of only one silica tetrahedron next uh, category is uh, soro silicate in this two or more tetrahedral are joined by sharing apical oxygen okay by sharing apical oxygen they are linked together third is cyclic silicate uh, or uh, ring silicate they are a uh, closed ring of tetrahedron okay not chain silicates chain silicates uh, may be single chain or double chain okay so this this is a double chain silicate or amphiboles next is sheet or phyllo silicates okay so they look like sheet like a structure they are formed by sharing oxygen okay next uh, category is uh, three dimensional or tecto silicate it is most stable in which silicate tetrahedron are arranged in three dimensional form okay now understand classification of silicate clay minerals based on the number and arrangement of tetrahedron and octahedral sheet okay so these uh, these are three uh, types uh, first is one is to one type minerals uh, and uh, example of this type is kaolinite and the second is two is to one is to one type minerals uh, example is chlorite and next is two is to one type mineral an example is montmorillonite illite and vermiculite so what does it mean one is to one type or two is to two type so one is to one means one uh, unit is tetrahedral sheet and other is octahedral sheet okay means one tetrahedral sheet and one octahedral sheet and two is to one two is to one type mineral is two is tetrahedral sheet and one is octahedral sheet okay so uh, and uh, uh, this structure chloride uh, it, this structure is for chloride is two is to one is to one form okay so here two silicon in uh, two is to one type two silicon or two tetrahedral uh, sheets and one aluminium sheet because aluminium sheet uh, octahedral sheet is generally formed by aluminium uh, okay means alumina sheet are uh, sandwiched between two tetrahedral sheet okay next uh, so here secondary clay mineral is divided in three uh, group one is to one two is to one and two is to one is to one so you have to uh, remember the example uh, like a kaolinite belongs to one is to one type and chloride chloride is be uh, chloride belongs to is to one is to one type and um, next uh, uh, smectite group belongs to two is to one type okay uh, uh, and the example of smectite group minerals are montmorillonite bedelite nontronite and saponite okay so minerals like montmorillonite nontronite saponite belongs to smectite group okay now let's see the classification of silicate clay based on expanding and non expanding nature so on the basis of expanding and non expanding nature silicate clay mineral are divided into two types uh, expanding type or non expanding type so here example is given 
expanding type uh, example for expanding type is smectite and vermiculite so smectite in the smectite group which uh, elements are there montmorillonite and bedellite nontronite and saponite okay and uh, in non expanding type example are uh, elite okay so uh, mica are non expanding type of clay mineral so uh, understand what is the meaning of expanding type or what is the meaning of non expanding type okay so for understanding and uh, expanding and non expanding nature you will have to understand the structure of mineral like uh, uh, what is the structure of uh, montmorillonite so you will understand the what is the basis uh, for expanding nature of montmorillonite or other elements okay other minerals so let's see the structure of montmorillonite which is a uh, expanding type of mineral so why it is expanding type means uh, when they are wetted expand what is the meaning of expanding type means when they are wetted um, when montmorillonite uh, type of clay mineral are wetted we can notice interlayer expansion and swelling okay so because layers are loosely held by weak oxygen to oxygen and cation oxygen linkage means they are held by wonder wall force okay the uh, wonder wall force are weak in nature so so exchangeable cation associated uh, and associated water molecules are attracted between layers causing expansion of crystal lattice okay next is uh, so here uh, in the diagram it is shown that is interlayer uh, interlayer expansion due to uh, due to water molecules and uh, and other exchangeable cations next is vermiculite that is 2 is to 1 type of clay minerals uh, and degree of swelling is less than smectite in vermiculite means limited expansion are in vermiculite okay so vermiculite have a structural characteristic uh, similar to those of montmorillonite like two is to one type but in tetrahedral sheet of most vermiculite aluminium is substituted by silicon in most of the site so they have high negative high negative charge associated with this mineral so due to high negative charge uh, water molecules along with magnesium and other ions are strongly absorbed in uh, interlayer of vermiculite so strong bond are in there okay so due to strong bond vermiculite have limited expansion so expansion is more than kaolinite but less than smectite group uh, means uh, like uh, montmorillonite okay next is a non expanding type of mineral are uh, mica or elite so basic structure of elite or mica uh, is similar to that of montmorillonite uh, okay uh, but uh, particles are much larger than a smectite group okay so some of the silicon ions are replaced by aluminium ion uh, in the tetrahedral sheet this result in a net negative charge okay net negative charge net negative charge in the tetrahedral sheet which is compensated by potassium ion you can see here potassium ion okay so this potassium act as a binding agent so it prevent expansion of the crystal so mica are non expanding type of mineral okay next is chloride chloride is also non expanding type of mineral so uh, structure of chloride you can see here that it is uh, like 2 is to 1 like mica or montmorillonite but there is one another layer also one octahedral layer you can see here extra layer is there that layer is called brucite okay so magnesium dominates the octahedral sheet in the 2 is to 1 type mineral so there is no water adsorption between the chloride crystal units so it is non expanding type of clay mineral okay next is kaolinite is 1 is to 1 type so these layer are held together by hydrogen bond so you uh, you all know that you hydrogen bond is very strong bond okay so this structure is fixed and no expansion 
uh, ordinarily occurs between layers when the when the clay is wetted when the kaolinite clay mineral is wetted there uh, is no expansion or you can say uh, it exhibit very little uh, expansion okay so cation and water do not enter between the structure layer so kaolinite exhibit very little expansion very little plasticity cohesion shrinkage and swelling okay thank you everyone